Welcome back. Spring has officially sprung. And one of my favorite things about saying goodbye to winter is being able to update my accessories for the new season. And here to show us some of the must-haves we should all be wearing this spring is Fashion Magazine's senior editor, editor Sarah Castleman. Hey. Thanks for being here, Sarah. Thank you so much. Okay, so what are some of the trends and accessories that we're looking at right now? So for spring 2015, we're kind of seeing things move in two different directions. We see a lot of bold, modern, very statement-making pieces. And then also, over here, we're seeing kind of fun, whimsical elements that bring out the inner child in all of us. Hmm. Okay, so come on over here, Sarah, yes. because we want to start over here with sunglasses, which are necessary, especially in spring, although I use them all year round. Mm -hmm. um, we saw certain looks this, these spring, on the spring runways from Dior, Ken's and Moschino. Uh, what are the shapes that we should be wearing this season? So kind of like our footwear, we're now having a sunglasses collection as well in our wardrobe. And some of the newer shapes here we see have a lot of that metallic lens uh, with a wire frame. This kind of, you know, rewinds back to the mid 80s, early 90s feel. This pair here from H&M is really great with that kind of wingtip cat eye at the side. Yes, oh. nice. And very affordable oh. too. I like this. It's yeah, it's both 60s and 80s. 60s and 80s. Michael Kors does a really fun aviator version as well. Okay. And then, of course, there's always going to be the person who wants to. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Tracy. <laughs> the ultimate statement maker. Yeah. <laughs> Where? <laughs> These are from These are great. and they've got the bling right on the side, which is great. Love that. And speaking of bling, these Prada from Whole Renver are also fun with the studding detail Ooh. right across the lens. And white is having a huge moment for spring accessories too. So white and studs, you cannot miss with this combo. Okay, so <laughs> I'll see you on the Riviera with those. Yeah. I love it. Do you have to match your outfit with your glasses or can you just kind of Throw them on with whatever. Throw them on with whatever. Um, have fun with it. And the main thing to remember is look for something that works with your face shape. So you want to really, you know, go into a proper sunglass store and try things on the same way you would with swimwear and our hats further along. All oh, right. Did you have to bring up swimwear? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Says, happy, happy thoughts. I love accessories, especially handbags. But Sarah, you're telling us that micro bags is the way to go this season. Mm. We've seen it on the runways of Louis Vuitton, mm. uh, at uh, Saint Laurent, and Fendi. So tell us more about this little cute bag. This micro bag is everywhere this season. They may be tiny, but they sure pack a powerful punch. Right here, this I'm is obsessed. this is the one that I'm gravitating mm -hmm. towards too. It's Valentino from Holt Renfrew. Yeah. And we're seeing that mini backpack scale down. I think I used to wear one in my early 20s. So here we are, you know, they were, fast. Good, they were good for clubbing. They were good right? for clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're great for all of our essentials day or night as well. And pastels are huge as well. Tori Birch does a really fun uh, sporty version with the perforation um, on the front. And if we can just see here. She's it's like the full size, just sh yeah. shrunk, shrunk, shrunken. Exactly, it's just shrunken down. And she does these really fun uh, monogram elements. So you can find your initials or we can write the social across our bags. Oh. But it's a really fun way to personalize your micro mini for spring. Tell me that a micro bag means a micro price tag. Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> and it does in some cases. Uh -huh. Definitely there's a lot of uh, you know, variety across the board from micro minis. So you're going to find things that are very affordable to our luxury statement bags. Okay, so I love handbags and micro bags, but I also love my phone, as we all do here. Melissa yeah. Grello, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I understand you. there is accessories for our phones. That's right. And so like our phone, we carry that everywhere. It's sort of an extension of our personal style. And we can do double duty with them, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, what, what? This is just a purse, is it not? Uh huh. That Open is the up. first step. Uh -oh. oh, and we actually can fit our Watch iPhone, our smartphone, right into the bag. Let's so try we that can again. Text, make phone calls without even taking it out of our purse. I that love that. And it's, a, and it's a mirror. And speaking of mirrors, <laughs> it's a mirror. look at this one. I know. Oh. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Who's the brownest girl of all? <laughs> you get it on your phone. It's really fun. So this is Moschino from at the, from the room at the bay, and this is from uh, Jerry. Jeremy Scott's Barbie collection. I think you've lost her, Sarah. I think <laughs> she's gone. She's gone. All right, all right. A pink and a mirror. We've lost her. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I think, Mel, you're up next. Okay. <laughs> Sarah, the other thing that we've been seeing a lot of this season is the statement earring. And this yes. has been everywhere on the runways, whether it's Marnie, Dolce Gabbana, Ralph Lauren, everybody's been showing the statement earring pieces. Mm -hmm. So where should we start if we want to dive into this trend? So we're diving
diving right in, and I've uh, done the same today with my statement earring from Oscar de la Renta. These are great day or night. Price point wise, I would say these two are the best of the bunch we're looking at, H&M. So here we have our crystal ear crawler. These are gorgeous, and they're actually twofold. You put it into the piercing hole, and then it goes all the way up your ear, and you can clip it right at the top. So very chic with your LBD for evening, and even during the day with your hair tied back in a pony with a t-shirt. This is the one that's calling my name. Yeah. Talk to that's yeah. really fun too. This speaks to the whole uh, 70s festival dressing oh, trend. Yeah. And so I it kind of just it. works right in with your really hair. Really J-Lo for you right now. <laughs> like, yeah. It's you're, beautiful. You're I'm doing... ready for Coachella. You are <laughs> ready for Coachella. That's right. I'm ready. Also a great price point. And then we're moving on to some graphic hoops as well. Vince Camuto from the Bay. And, you know, this has that updated feel. It's very graphic. It also speaks to the arts and crafts trend with the little green string inspiration. Mm -hmm. And speaking of more natural inspired pieces, Marnie from Holtz does a fabulous show-stopping wood earrings. Is it I was heavy? Say, these are is it heavy? heavy. This is like Beyonce grade earrings. <laughs> no lie. Okay. Those are no a lie. serious earring. But, but at again, least they're clip-ons. They're not like they go and don't in the ear, ear hole, right? So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the ones I'm wearing today are as well, which is a great thing about this trend for statement earrings. You don't necessarily have to have pierced ears to indulge in this in this fun trend. Great, thank yeah. you. Looks you know what? Something else we saw on the runway was hats. We saw it on Kate Spade, J.W. Anderson, and uh, Mara Hoffman. Um, so what is, what are we looking Okay. I personally love them, so I encourage everyone to dive in and try a hat this season. The top three here, the wide brim hat, and this one here is from Joe Fresh. It's all about that floppy, kind of, again, like that festival dressing, that 1970s, easy breezy feel. You know what I like about this one, too, is you don't have to make eye contact. <laughs> like, it covers your eyes so you can walk down the street and I don't have to talk is to anybody lady? or stay yeah. away from is me. Is it Sia or is it Lady? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But if you don't want to go to the floppy hat, if you don't want to do have this. this option, right? Yeah, exactly. So here we have a fun fedora. This will take you from the beach, also for pounding the city sidewalks. This is from Hermes. Interesting too, this hat is made from paper, um, as paper. opposed to straw. It has the look of straw, so it's very, very lightweight, um, and this makes a great travel hat as well. Mm -hmm. Now I'm having some hair issues, so on a bad hair day, can I do something more casual and not so elegant? This hat up front is made for you, Lainey. This is our ball cap. So unlike our Toronto Blue Jay hats, go Jays. Oh, yes. Nice. This one is very sleek, very chic, and it incorporates a little bit of bling up top. This one is from 4 to 4. I'm, I'm like Tracy, I need that mirror. I cannot stop looking at myself. <laughs> Good on me. Girl, I got you. Good. I got Girl, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the cutest of them all? That's right. All you want to do is throw on a pair of sunglasses and I'll be asking you for your autograph. There you go. Sarah, thank, thank you, thank you oh, so great. much for coming thank here. You. And of course, you can visit the social.ca after the show for another look at all these fabulous must have spring accessories and make sure you pick up the April issue of Fashion Magazine, which is on newsstands right now. See you back here in just a moment.